Trevor takes it in behind the net. He scores! A lacrosse goal! Here's Patterson in. Leaves Patterson. Nice move. Stop. Gets it a rebound. Takes it in. What a play! As I look at the big board, there's a jock strap hanging on it. It's the longest tenured current Coyote. Three to one Coyotes dancing. Cooley scores! What a goal by the youngster! Look at this. I mentioned earlier that he's a dancer. Watch the dance move right there. And then gets himself in a position when he spins the second time. He's in a perfect shooting position. And he uses everything to hoist that puck quickly to the top of the net. Hughes going to try to get to the bench. No, he's not. He's going to try to defend. But McDavid's behind him. He's in. He deeks. He scores. though and he gets a step he takes it he just doesn't want to get the stick into the hands too much and the smith can't get across with that left hand sets up good back check by john carlson's two on one sonny milano with magical hands ends up being a three on two from close range Pretty soft hands there, Sonny Milano. Didn't really have an option right here. I think that pass far side is going to be taken away by McAvoy, so he went forehand, backhand. He can't get it over the line. And a breakaway pass. Claude Giroux alone to the backhand. Score. Quickly, Kachuk comes in to recover that loose puck, and Giroux read the play the entire time. He stays low and slow on the wide side, and it receives the puck. Look at that backhand, forehand, the open... McTavish pestering the entry by Eichel, who gets around the defender, walks him. Impressed we were with his performance in the postseason last year. This is why he's so strong on his skates. As an offensive weapon, so difficult for a goaltender to deal with an attacking player like Eichel that has that long reach. You can see how quick the hands are. Throw that into the, into the mix as well. He gets John Gibson down. And up towards center, and McDavid will hand off to CeCe. Hope free by Kane, and now McDavid. What a spin, the recovery, the shot is gone! be prepared for this, but maybe he is the most. He goes down, spinorama, pops back up, and somehow that puck was loose. I mean, that's an absolute nightmare for that puck to be ahead of him when he gets up, but he attacks with so much speed, doesn't even miss a beat, and then buries it. And the skates of Carlson center circle. Rotter back on his blades with speed between the legs. I just said, they're not letting him carry the puck in with side you see as soon as he fakes that shot it forces Zamula to stand up straight as he stands up straight it goes between them they're putting pressure on right now they really feed feed off it just like the Predators do with Smashville four for it busts in drags and holds he shoots oh! causing a distraction for Brossois but watch Bill watch this toe drag watch how far he brings his buck back slides right to the middle there's traffic Ryan O'Reilly in front of the net, and Forsberg just puts her five hole. He can't hang on. The Jets counter Shifley to Connor. Full speed, makes the move, swooping in, scores! Connor with an incredible move. This is, you talk about transition, here it is, Shifley. Connor's got a full steam of speed coming down the side, right to the middle, and he just outweighs Saros and just tucks it by him, and it ends up going through Alex Carey. Look at this play right here. He's gonna wait, 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 just gets it under. Saros just lifts his toe right at the last second. Watch this right here. Toe goes up, it goes under the... The Toronto's pass blocked through the middle of the ice. Tippett brings it back, goes around Frank to the front of the net and scores! Owen oh, Tippett showing off! It's knocked down in the neutral zone, and then watch this move. Tippett realizes he's got a forward back, but that's the power move. He, that, that little push move to the forehand when an attacking forward has speed like that is a real tough stop for the goaltender to make. And, uh, boy, Tippett was flying. And this place is jumping here tonight. Look out. Backhand chance. Oh! Between the skates. Score! Wow! How's that for a first-ever NHL goal?
first contract. Look at this play between the skates right there. It's amazing how kids are able to jump right into the NHL. On my list, he's one of four that made the jump from this last year's draft. We've seen Fantilli. We see Benton tonight. Carlson we're going to see next week in, with the Ducks. And pretty soon we're going to see Connor Bedard with the Chicago Blackhawks. An amazing move, especially as you nailed it, Joby. Across this time to Mikhail Granlin. He picks his way through center, gets in over the back of the line, gets through to the fence, and on goal, he scores! That is an impressive rush. As Granlin, smooth skater, good stick handler, normally a passer, just takes the lane that's given. Steps around Hornick and keeps his speed up. Stick handle, catch it on the other side, fend off, and then... On for Robbie Fabry, who had a goal last oh. night. Nice move there. Fabry right in, a goal! Oh, he scores! What a play! What a play. Robbie Fabry, red hot! It's 2-1 Detroit! He's looking for a piece of his equipment. Oh, my goodness. Did he undress him or what? Or has it got a piece of it? As I look at the big board, there's a jock strap hanging on it, and it belongs to Kaiser. Oh, my. That's a good example of playing the puck and not the puck. Shin to center ice. Tyru to the middle. Wide open. He scores! Oh, what a play! Unbelievable goal by Tyru! And the Blues lead 3-1. The uh, right here, Jordan Kyru, the old shake and bake to the middle of the ice. And how are you going? It's in the back of the net. And the young man, very excited. But what a play. Look at that. And then the presence of mind right at the very end to just talk it by. Nugent Hopkins. Speaking of an outlaw pass, McDavid cuts in. Waits. Waits. Tucks it home. Connor McDavid. A virtuoso. You just talked about it. Watch this. Nugent Hopkins finds him up the ice. It's a 2 on one As the Minnesota Wild get a little aggressive. But watch this patience. Stick handle, stick handle, get Fleury to bite. You know Mark andre Fleury's an aggressive goaltender, wants to come out and challenge. That's exactly what he does. But the patience, the skill of Connor McDavid to walk this around, tuck it home on the backhand side. And this off the stick of Zach Wierenski, who gets it back again, and he will be the quarterback of this power play. Hey, score! That pass between the legs as Marchenko was no problems to... here. Watch, it comes down to 86, and he pulls one of those back through the legs. Yep. And the... Samuelson does everything he needs to do. He's right on top of him. He's tight to him. That's just a sick move. And that goes wide. Now Bedard again. And he scores! What a play! He hooked it in over his head. No chance at all for the Blues netminders. Connor Bedard. Wow. Otherworldly skill here as he just softly picks that up on his stick. Goes up over the shoulder to equalize this one at one. You never know what you're going to see from that young man. Mintyakov brings it back in. Drops it off to Zegras. Trevor takes it in behind the net. He scores! A lacrosse goal! It's just amazing, amazing hand. I think most of the crowd is just now realizing what he did because they showed the replay a couple of times on the big board above center ice, and the reaction got a great deal louder. For the former head coach, here's a chance in front. Blackwell, the former Ranger, with a great move. Oh, was with the Rangers, he did a nice job. And so here's a, this is just a defensive mistake. By the Rangers and Blackwell, really, that's a beautiful move by Blackwell. Miller was caught on one side, Truba on the other, and Truba had to be over on the other side. Sari down the right side. He's going to Anderson. Anderson cuts to the middle. Anderson backhand scores! Anderson on the backhand, and the Flames go on top, 4-2. to two. This is just patience. He just outweights everybody. Here's Anderson. He slows everybody down. Beats one defense, beats another defense, and then casually with a beautiful backhand. Takes it off his skates. Up, up. And on the far side, stick side. I mean, that's just a beautiful goal by Anderson. 
There are no passengers in this game for either team. Here's Pedersen in. Elias Pedersen, nice move, stop, gets it over. Sent off ice, gets it back, holds it, back pocket, skips it, gets it. And as he's getting knocked to the ice, the wherewithal to go below the goal line, above the goal line with that stick handle. After the dangle there and in the net. As the Rangers look like they might have a chance to pick it off and go with numbers the other way. Here's Shooter in. Hugh Shooter. Across. Nice move by Holmlander. He scores. Nils Holmlander between the legs. Popped up, Suter's going to hold it, and then find Hoaglander between the legs and between the legs. Shesterkin gets the stick down, but not in time. Suter is able to shield it, and this is a thing. A beautiful little pass by Hyman. That came dangerously close to too many men. Snatched away, McDavid makes a move. Tucks it home for the equalizer. Outside the line just. I mean, this puck just sits for McDavid. There's nobody that can put the Jets on like him and navigate through Sticks' bodies. And what a deke around the pad. I mean, he literally just tucks that around the right pad of Lyon, who's been so great in this game. But Connor McDavid ties it with a beauty. Well, Konechny at the line. That might have hit the lines, but now the Flyers do get it. Tippett coming in with a great move. And he scores! What a shot! And here's an opportunity here where he looks like he's going to shoot it. Justin Falk kind of bites on that. And Tippett pulls it over to the backhand here. As you see here, look, little subtle fake. Blues defenseman turning on that. Then he's able to get that backhand right. Target. Picking it up is Owen oh, Tippett. Turbocharge time. Tippett spins. Backhander. He scores! Shades of Denny Savard. How beautiful a move is this? And, and he absolutely rips the backhand as well. No chance for Ottinger. So what a twist. And now walked along by Twerp Chaco. Good move through his legs. In on goal. He scores! Unbelievable goal by Twerp Chaco. Magnificent start with a great play by Oscar Sundquist. And then right here, pulls that puck through his legs around. The poke check from Jake Allen, just a spectacular goal. And that's a tough one there. Once the defenseman loses body position, he's at the mercy of the offensive player. Power play is over. Four aside now. Deneau with a takeaway. Out of the box is Brant Clark. He's got a breakaway to the backhand, forehand, scores! The Kings win it in overtime as Clark. And he realizes that all of a sudden he peels off. Good play off the boards. And as Clark comes in, he's going to little backhand forehand, gets Allmark all twisted up. Clark with his first of the year gets the game winner here in Boston. And that's a huge two points for this L.A. Kings team. That's the first of his career. The first ever goal in the NHL for Clark is a game winner in overtime in Boston against the Bruins. Quickly to center ice with speed by field. Around one man in on goal. Scores! At this point, coming up right here, I thought it was over. Look at the forward. He kicks the puck back to his stick. You're talking a big man right there, back, and then able to hoist it. He has to get it over the pad. Now, this is all one-on-one. -on -one. No shot. DeBrus fumbled it away. Open McAvoy waiting. Backhanded score. Charlie McAvoy wins the game for Boston. Go down low. So McAvoy patient, patient, and finds the back of the net. What a move. Fake, toe drag, hold on, and bury it. Down high, Morrissey for Shively. Down low, to the front, they score. Wow, over there. Oh, pass, back door. He thought he was going to bring that all the way to the forehand. He brings it back on the backhand. Just a little cheeky play right there. And Connor Ingram can't get that right pad over and back in time. Save. Oh, look out to break it. Look out for guess who? Pat 
Patrick Kane, he's in. He scores! Taken shot, rebound, but then the play by Debrinkit made it. And, and listen, Kane was out of gas. He would look like he was going to go for a line change. He looked behind him to see Wallman was there. And I thought him at one point here, see, he looked behind him and wanted to see how much time he had. And it's just got such slick hands. There's no way to find this puck off his tape. I mean, from a goalie's point of view, he's so slick with it. And he just hides it a little bit here, hides it a little bit right here, gets it on the heel and just hoists that thing over the glove. He's made that look easy. Take it on Lindell. Into the star zone. Cut to the inside. Turns on his forehand. Lindell shadowing the entire way. Barzell left circle. Holds. Fed across. Score. Horvat. Again. And then Barzell after a long, lengthy puck on a string shift is able to work against the grain. It's man on man in overtime. And nobody picked up Bo Horvat away from the puck. Barzell cut his meat, buttered his bread, fed him, and he drilled it home to get the extra point for them. Scoreboards and clocks working. The only thing that hasn't come back to life is the big screen. Here's Forster in, dangles to the back end. He scores! Tyson Forster! Good opportunity to potentially rip it through a screen and steady ad libs through the leg. And surprises Vasilevsky with a short side backhand. Boy, what a thing of beauty that is. Well past the midway mark of the game. And Lakes another terrific drive. Here's a chance by Japani for the equalizer. Scores! Play head up. Puts the puck perfectly on the team. And he gets in between the two defensemen. Back to save for Gavrikov. And his partner... Mobarara to allow Bonjapani with that speed to split the two deep. McDavid back to Ekholm. Ekholm to McDavid. As he pilots through, McDavid keeping shooting. Scoring! I want it, and away he goes. And just a great navigation to the neutral zone. And then that quick release fools Jordan Bennington. Gets a chunk of it. But it finds its way in the net. It's the quick release by McDavid that I think does it. Right here. Little fake, and then boom. Up over top, gets the shoulder, and finds it. Here's Nazem Godry now surrounded. He's able to stick handle through that traffic. Godry still stick handling, driving to the net. He scores! Jerry, and what a play this is. Whoop, right through the legs. And here comes the next move. Draws it in, cuts to the middle, beautiful edges to keep alive on the skates, and then tucks it in. Here's Hedman, across, point, in, and he scores! Brian and Boyd, what a goal! Point gets lucky, this is not a good goal on Shesterkin, but with Victor Hedman doing a really good job getting the puck to Brayden Point, that one's just not supposed to go in. Gustafson is in a process of checking Brayden Point, who's on an impossible angle. Nice little move, but that one should never go in. Not just winning. Here comes Novak getting in. He scores! Watch Novak. He's going to get this with the backhand. Look at he puts it to the air. He's getting hit down and just backhanded through the legs like nothing. Chased by Theodore. Stiff arms him. Three-man weave. Yossi hits the accelerator. Comes in! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! With a power move to the net. Watch him bring it. Gets it outside the cupboard. Stays with it and then tucks it in as Eichel's trying to fend him off. His career for the third time. Last game against Chicago. Done with three different teams. Stolen by Kuzmenko. Goal! It's Kuzmenko! What a play! Another turnover. And Kuzmenko makes the Blues pay with a beautiful... In the net. Doesn't protect the puck well enough. Watch Kuzmenko knock the stick of... The puck comes free, and then a beautiful dangle here by Kuzmenko. Watch this, just lift it. Ooh. Bennington's trying to poke check him. Legacy. Now a chance in front. Joshua between the legs and into the goal. What a move by Dakota Joshua. High fives at the bench. Joshua, the net front presence, pulls it between the legs and then flicks it up over the blocker of Dostal. 
That is some fancy hands and Knox with a 2-0 lead. Rostal's going to get his mask looked at. You know that reaction? I think a lot of fans didn't realize how that puck went in until they just saw it on the big screen. That is some big league moves. The last three games. He sure splits the D, gets the puck back in, and scores! Oh, what a move by Nico Heischer! And we saw Mercer corral that puck. He gloves it down, not easy to handle all the way from his own zone, but he finds Nico Heischer splitting the Toronto defense. What a play from Heischer. He flips that puck forward to himself. It's on end, but the point... Carolina swarming the Boston end. Us. Svechnikov off the goal frame. He's saying it went in. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was off the frame of the goal, inside the goal. This is the angle you need. There, that confirms it. Yep. After review, the shot at 9.05 for Carolina fully crossed the goal line. Therefore, as Barner centers, Lelushkin again. Here's a chance in front. Barner backhand scores. Challenge the top guys. You got to find some energy. You got to do something positive. Here's Mitch Marner. Just the creativity gets down on one knee as he puts it between his legs. And now you've got Swayman down and unable to recover. He was expecting a backhand shot. Yeah, right. got it to Nylander. He gets it out. The way goes nine. Nylander breakaway to Trent. Sick scores. Well, the play here. Lorai makes a play to keep it in. And how this play by Matthew Nyes. Absorb the check, deliver the puck. Swayman, so good down low. This is a perfect bait by Nylander. Gets him to open up the legs and then just slides it through. Into his 10 hits in the game. Lindholm sends it in and it's Pasternak scores! Series winner for David Pasternak and the Bruins. game. How about this? Hard shot. Morgan Riley unable to get there quickly. Little hesitation for Samsonov. That's a play. Maybe Samsonov could step out and get his stick in. Lindholm perfectly banked right to the front. Forehand, backhand, just between. Get it down the wing. Trying to put the shot to the net. Truba took the right penalty coming up here. Bennett took the helmet of Truba off his head in the corner. Lafreniere up high. Strikes it. Go to what a play! What a goal! Alexi Lafreniere! And then coming up the ice, he just decides, fake the shot. Kulikov bites on it. He goes down on one knee. He's no good down there. In comes the toe drag. Ekman Larson reaches in, misses it. And on the backhand, Lafreniere buries it this time low. Unlike the first one where it was top shelf. What a great goal by Lafreniere. And for McDavid, there is dry settle. Watched carefully by Lindell. Across to McDavid. Moves to the outside. Works his way. What a goal! Mick Wow! What does he get with it? A playoff, his 30th point. And Edmonton's got the Kickstarter in game six. Well, sometimes you just let the picture tell the story. How about the ability to make plays in tight? You have to think of his ability to pass the puck. Gets you thinking, okay, where's he going to put it instead? Right around Haskin and pulls it to the backhand. Up and over Ottinger. He's such a threat with the pass. This time, though, takes it. Kicking it back to the line. And that pass broke it up. Maybe a break. It's gone to ground. Looking for Shorty, scores! Well, he makes this play, and this is that top-down pressure, and that's a long side-to-side -side pass, but then Brown, how about this patience? Outweights Bobrovsky. He takes this thing all the way across, about eight feet from one side to the other, lifts it up and over, and you want to talk about an impactful goal? Connor McDavid, the first player ever to score a Stanley Cup final goal in the building he was drafted. Right on the way, scores! What a brilliant piece of work 
McDavid to Perry, and it's 4-1. As well, and watch Corey Perry. He comes on the ice just trying to stay invisible, stays along the boards, and then times this perfectly. Four guys watching 97. Why not? Because you're having a hard time taking the puck off of him. Look at the quick little hands, protection of the stick, and then up and over Bobrovsky is Corey Perry. This is just a thing of beauty, and at the end of a minute 50 to shift. It's Corey Perry getting lost in the shuffle. Cody face off so far in this game. There's a hit along the boards. The Barco to work in. Scores. What a beautiful goal by Alexander Barkov. A chance to clear the zone and instead it's kept in. And how about patience here? In front of the net there, it's Kulak goes down instead of with an active stick. Just get your stick and don't allow Barkov to come across the net. Barkov plays it perfectly, gets Skinner going down and then has great patience.